So the way that Forbes is organized is there are different categories. There's a lifestyle section, there's a marketing section, there's an entrepreneur section. And so when you're pitching Forbes and you're pitching the editors there, you need to be aware that for the entrepreneurship section, there's a certain editor for that section, and that's the person that you need to be pitching. Now when you go to pitch the entrepreneur section, you need to pitch on something to do with entrepreneurship. If you're pitching marketing to the entrepreneur editor, there's going to be a mismatch there. And so your submission isn't going to be very strong. You're probably not going to get in because he's just going to say, hey, I'm busy, and he'll just reject it. He's not going to pass it along to the marketing department. He's just going to say, oh, this guy's pitching the wrong area, and so he'll just delete it. So when you're networking with these editors, you also want to build a relationship before you pitch them. If you just send in a cold pitch to Forbes and you say, hey, I write about such and such and here's some samples of my articles and I'd love to write for Forbes and I'd be such a great writer for Forbes, maybe you'll get in, but you'll get so much further if you've spent five or 10 minutes learning about that editor and reaching out, trying to get in touch with them and asking them a few simple questions like, are you looking for contributors right now? Or what kind of contributors are you looking for? Because maybe they have a special need. Maybe somebody just left that they're trying to replace. Or maybe they're looking for somebody to cover social ventures in Asia or something. And maybe you have that experience, but you were planning on pitching something else. But now that you know that they're looking for that, you can customize your pitch that way because you asked them what they were looking for. Most people just send in their pitch and they just pray and they hope blindly that it's somehow going to get through. But if you do a little bit of preparation work and you network with that editor and you start building a relationship, you're going to get much, much further along that path towards becoming a contributor. And it's this type of information and a lot more that I'm going to be sharing in my masterclass on how to become a contributor to top tier business publications. The class is capped at just 20 participants and a bunch of these slots are already taken. So if you want to get in, please apply now and let's see if there's a great match for you to become a contributor to Forbes, Inc., Mashable, TechCrunch, or one of these other top-tier business publications.